Okay, today we're going to work on putting a pulley system to our hydraulic press so we don't have to move the lower bench up and down by hand. I think it's a pain and I've seen friends with it done and it was very handy. So the parts that we have are a boat winch. This is a 1200 pound capacity. We'll obviously cut off the hook, but we'll use that for the cranking mechanism. These are some pulleys little bronze bushing in there. They're inch and a half diameter. I think I have three inches on my press for space, so that'll work out really well. A couple cable clamps to secure it to the bed. I got nuts and E-clips for depending how I build it. The plan is to put the pulley through the either bar stock. This is quarter inch and it fits. This is quarter inch threaded rod. This is five sixteenths threaded or just bar. The five sixteenths should fit through there. Just the end's a little messed up, so I'll figure out what I use. I prefer to use the bar. If I can, I will use the E-clips to secure my pulley. If not, I'll use threaded rod and just some nuts and washers to secure it because I'm lazy today. Here's our press. It's a 30 ton power fist press from Princess Auto in Canada, the same thing as Harbor Freight in the States. So my thought is, we'll put our hand crank or boat wedge here. We'll put a pulley here. So the cable comes down. We'll secure it to this handle. Have it come down, put a pulley in the bottom, across a pulley down here. We'll come back up. Uh, don't we have to come back up to here and put a pulley? then bring our cable back down. So as we crank, this whole bed will raise and lower There's as There's kind can. of a rough layout of how it'll go. I'll probably move the boat winch over to the left so the handle's out of my way. I don't have a lot of room on the side so I don't want it to hang out too much, but I also don't want it to be right in the middle of my workpiece as I'm working and trying to press what I'm doing. So again, the cable will come here, pulley down, connect, down to the bottom, pulley over, up, around that and come back to that handle there. Okay, so the OD of our step is about seven and three eighths. So I'll add a little bit for our nuts. We are going to use a threaded rod instead of the round bar because the round bar is actually too large of a diameter. I don't feel like drilling things out. All right, so there's our bar. We'll cut it at eight and a half. That'll work out perfectly for length. Give us a little bit extra. We'll go ahead and cut that. So here we have all our pieces cut to length. I chamfered the top just a bit. And gave it a quick file, nothing too crazy. Next, we'll go drill our holes. So there's our mark. Give it a center push. There's our mark here. So here we have our bar with our posi lock, our nylon lock lock nut at the end. So we're going to put two nuts here, a washer, our pulley, washer and two nuts. The two nuts are just going to be jam nuts because to run a nylock lock in there is going to be a pain. And then at the end we'll just put another nylock lock at the end. So there's a closer view. Those two nuts are just jammed together. Our pulley can spin. Okay, so here we've marked our points and we did a center punch. So that pulley will go here and our cable will come out right above our cross member, which will go right across this here. Okay, so what we've done here is we've got our pulleys all mounted, but then I outsmarted myself. I can't put my winch in the middle because my handle will hit. So I'm gonna mount it offset, and then I drilled and tapped into my frame here. Okay, so here's our winch mounted. You can see in there, I put the, the bolt down there, the other bolts here, and I just drilled and tapped these. 
down here I put a cable clamp that'll lift it and way down there on the bottom is there other so here we are we'll run it we'll run it down and have it come through this cable clamp right there bottom pulley and our hole underneath so I'm going to poke it through our hole first there it comes it's going to come across here to the other side outside of the pulley to inward. So here's our clamp and because you never want to saddle a dead horse this bottom part is called your saddle. I don't know what the top's called but the bottom is where your live end goes. The live end being our working end and our dead end with nothing on it gets goes to the top. So we'll tighten those up. There we've got that all tightened up. We'll get some tension on it. Then we'll come to our other side here. We'll tension this one accordingly so it lifts our so it lifts our deck up uniformly. So here we have our winch. Again, we're bolted in. I just threaded those. Cable comes along. I did offset this a bit because of, because the winch is offset. And you can see it comes down. Comes all the way down to our clamp. That's the squares up when we lift. And it comes down to our pulley, goes around our pulley, through the bottom of our frame, through the other side of the frame. It comes this way. It comes up. It comes up to the front side of this pulley here. And then this is our back side. You can see it comes down to our clamp there. So you can see those cables don't touch, they're close, they don't touch. So what I did is I did offset this pulley towards the back a bit, just to avoid that. So here we'll crank it up. And it rests almost perfectly. We'll just give it a hair of tension on here to keep that cable tight. Nice work, guys.